So <laughs> tell me about the song Sweet Creation. That's a beautiful number. We're working on a new record right now, and we just wrote that. We started writing that about six months ago, I suppose. That was back in the spring. Um, we were approached to do something for the 10th anniversary of uh, Legacy Parks Foundation. And um, they ended up not using that song, but what I had in mind when I started it was that Jeff and I were there the day they dedicated um, Seven Islands Park as a, a state birding park. And I was just so moved by how beautiful that place is. And um, so, I, yeah, I started that song to, in, in, in thinking that we might be doing something for that 10th anniversary thing. And Jeff helped me out um, writing the choruses. And in the end, they didn't use it. But I still um, am glad that we got that song out of the whole thing. Yeah, it worked out. We'll start at the foot of the mountain and head on up One foot in front of the other will be enough To carry you away and over and above these times that seem so tough Start at the foot of the mountain and head on up Well then you look out over the valley and feel so small There's no way your human eye could take in it all You'll see things a little different when you're standing a thousand acres tall I Look out over the valley and feel so small Sweet creation This old world still has a song to sing prayer bells ring We'll go down to the river and get right in Feel the weight of the world wash off of your skin Let the current carry your heartache on down around the bend We'll go down to the river and get right in This old world still has a song to sing Sweet creation Stand still and hear those prayer bells ring Like a bird on the wing Let your soul aloft Like a tiny feathered thing Trust your flight to the mystery Without knowing what it means Open your heart like a bird on the wing Sweet This whole world still has a song to sing Sweet creation Stand still and hear those prayer bells ring Stand still and hear those prayer bells Do you like having uh, assignments for songs? Sometimes we have to. I think it's, you know, typically uh, musicians are lazy for uh, the most part, by, by, <laughs> by nature. Um, so, you know, it's, some, it's sometimes nice to, to have an assignment. And it's sometimes know, scary. A deadline. Yeah. So, hey, you've got, you know, we've written a bunch of songs like that. Um, 
Now, your songs have been covered by a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. um, do you get those on assignment, or do you just finish a song and just go, hey, if you want it? How does that work? We go, I go back and sp spend a lot of time pitching songs. We've made a bunch of connections. And, and most of the, the songs we've had recorded have been in the bluegrass world. Um, so we know a, a lot of those people from, you know, from us doing this for 15 years. Um, through our live shows and through our radio shows, and we've met a bunch of people and networked. So I'll, I do wind up, write, we'll write songs, and I'll think, well, this might be good for so-and-so, and I'll check and see if they're recording or not, and if they are, we'll send them a song. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's kind of like us shopping our stuff. But we haven't been commissioned by an artist. Right, we've never, I don't we've think so. We've been, by, you know, um, commissioned by different, you know, groups like Legacy Parks, the, um, the Actors Co-op, we mm -hmm. did a great big project with them a few years ago. We've done things like that, where we were given a subject to write about, but not ever for an artist at this point. 